What's going on guys and welcome back to the Hammer Dance YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing to you the 10 best gift ideas for gamers and streamers. This is going to be a video basically telling the 10 best gift ideas that I think people would love. Things that I've used, things that I know people use all the time that are just great products and all around good deals right now, especially for the next month. So. Without further ado, guys, let's dive in. All right, so number one on the list, I'm gonna give you guys a mouse, my favorite mouse that I have ever used, and I have three of them. It is the Logitech G Pro X Super Light wireless mouse. This mouse is phenomenal uh, for FPS gaming, MOBAs, whatever it is that you're playing. This mouse is great. It uses the Hero 25K sensor, goes up to 25,000 DPI. Not sure who would ever use that, but really the selling point for this mouse is the way that it glides across your mouse mat. It is amazing. It feels so good. And right now it's on sale for $110. Normally it's 160. So if you guys want to pick this up, I would. By the way, I'm going to have links to all of these products down in the description below this video. It looks nice. It's sleek. It is so, so light and you could flick with this thing like you've never flicked before. Uh, I would highly suggest picking up this mouse if you are serious about gaming and you want a mouse that just feels like it's an extension of your hand. It feels amazing. I've been using it for over a year. I have three of them. I use them on all the PCs in my house. I highly suggest getting this mouse. And next up on the list, of course, if you're getting a new mouse, you need a great mouse pad and what I suggest to you guys is the glorious mouse mat uh, it comes in so many different sizes we have the regular size we have medium we have large we have XL we have double XL we have triple XL which is what I'm currently using uh, it's basically a mouse mat that takes up the entire middle section of my desk because I like to have my keyboard on there as well uh, the way that you can glide around this mouse mat just feels amazing uh, the biggest version of this the 3XL extended uh, is on sale for $40 right now which is a steal. I just picked another one up myself. Um, just an all around great mouse mat. Uh, I've had a couple of them that I've been using for over two years, no fraying on the edges or anything. And uh, if they get dirty, you just throw them in the washing machine and hang them to dry and they're good to go within 24 hours. So I highly suggest the glorious mouse mats. Okay, number three on the list. I'm gonna give you guys a nice set of gaming headphones. And that would be the SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro wireless headset. This is a little bit pricey. It's about $350. $50, but it comes with the game DAC and everything. The sound that you get out of this wireless headset is phenomenal. I mean, you can hear footsteps from miles and miles away. I play a lot of Escape from Tarkov and I use this headset a lot. It is worth the price. The microphone on it is great too. Uh, definitely not its best selling point. We all know headset mics are not the best, but at $350, this headset does have a pretty decent microphone built into it. So I would suggest this headset for anyone looking for a new wireless gaming headset. This is a steal right now. This headset is great. There is no one out there who is going to dislike this headset. Next up on the list, I'm going to hit you guys with two cameras put out by Elgato. We have the Elgato face cam, which comes in at $139. A great webcam. I mean, this thing is amazing. You can use it with the camera hub where you can change your FOV. Uh, you can change the shutter speed, compensation, white balance, all that stuff you get to customize. Uh, it's really nice and a steal for a webcam. For the regular Elgato face cam, you can run it in 1080 at 60 frames and it is a true 60 frames. Uh, you can run 1080. 30 frames, 720, 60, 720, 30, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's a great camera. I would definitely suggest picking this up for anyone who wants to just plug in a webcam and have a really nice quality video for streaming or recording. But then on the other hand, you also have the Facecam Pro, which just came out, which is coming in at $299. It's a little bit more pricey. It's double the price of the regular Facecam, but this is the world's first 4K 60 FPS webcam. And let me tell you, when you plug this thing in, you forget that you're looking at a webcam. Uh, Elgato did a great job with this. Uh, it looks amazing. You could pop it right on top of your monitor, just like a standard webcam, but it's giving you 4K 60 FPS video. I highly suggest this if you guys don't want to get into using DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. This webcam is actually almost like pro grade uh, quality video. You, you will plug this thing in and as long as you have decent lighting, just any basic lighting, uh, it's going to look great. Next up on the list, I'm going to give you guys a microphone. We have the Elgato Wave 3. This is a great premium studio quality USB condenser mic for streaming or recording. Plug it directly into your PC. You get tons of functionality with it as well, which is great. Uh, it features a cardioid polar pickup pattern, which is perfect for streaming and recording. Uh, it looks nice. And then of course you can use Wavelink to get all the fine tuning. So basically you're getting a GoXLR mixer 
feature built into your microphone via software, which is great for a lot of people. This microphone comes in at $110, and I think for that price, the amount of tech that you're getting with the microphone and the quality of the capsule that they use in this microphone is amazing. Highly recommending the Elgato Wave 3. Next up on the list, if you're getting a new microphone, you definitely want a mic arm, and if you're like me, I struggled for years. Uh, I was using the Rode PSA uh, mic arm, and that thing was always in the way. I use a three monitor setup, right? So. This mic arm, I had it off to the left side of my desk and it was constantly blocking my left monitor and it was just very weird to kind of finagle into place. Um, but the Elgato Wave mic arm low profile version is amazing. This thing is so low down onto your desk. That's what I'm using right here. You can move it. It has two adjustments right here. I have it set all the way to the left side of my desk. Um, it looks great. It doesn't block any of your monitors. It's nice, sleek, low profile. The tops of the arms actually pop right out and you can put the cable inside and snake it through nice, nice. So you don't see it, you know, cables wrapped around the entire arm, like the other arms and things like that. It is a bit pricey when it comes to price. It's on sale for $80 right now. It's normally 100, but uh, this mic arm is one of the best upgrades I've done to my setup in the past year. Uh, I was struggling for years with that Rode PSA uh, mic arm. It was so annoying that it was constantly blocking my screens. Not that it's a bad mic arm, but you know, that was designed was designed more for podcasting where you're not trying to look at screens. You know, as for streamers and gamers, you, you, if you have more than one screen, you don't want your screens being blocked. So I highly suggest the Elgato low profile wave mic arm. And next up on the list, we have one of my favorite devices that I will always use in my setup, uh, the TC Helicon Go XLR Mini. Uh, they make a full-size version, but I have had no issues using the Mini. It's a little bit cheaper. Uh, you can pick it up anywhere from 200 to 250, uh, depending on the day and depending on the stock. There's still some stocking issues with these, but it's all around a great mixer. Uh, has an XLR input, so I use my Shure SM7B with no cloud lifter or anything plugged directly into the Go XLR. You can use good headphones. I use my Bayer Dynamic DT990 Pros, uh, which are 250 ohm headphones. Plug them directly in, have no issues. Don't need an amplifier for those. And then it just allows you to control different volumes of sound on your PC. Like you can have your microphone all the way up. You can have music playing low in the background with one of the music sliders. You can crank your game sounds up and then you can kind of mix your Discord volume levels in with that. It's perfect for any gamer. Honestly, this device was meant for streaming, but I find myself using this device in my everyday life more often than not. I mean, I'm constantly adjusting the levels of my Discord chat, my music, my game sounds, my mic levels and all that. Super simple right on my desktop. Highly recommending the TC Helicon Go XLR Mini. Next up, if you want a pair of good studio quality headphones, whether you're editing videos or you just, you have a standalone mic and you want some really crispy studio quality sound in your games or music or, or media, whatever it is that you are doing on your PC, I would recommend the Audio-Technica ATH M50X headphones. Uh, they they are usually 170. They're on sale right now for 129 on Amazon. These headphones are great. They have a detachable cable. They're comfortable on your head, and the audio quality that you will get out of these headphones is absolutely amazing. I can guarantee that when you put these headphones on your head and you're playing Call of Duty or Tarkov or any game that requires you to listen for footsteps and audio cues to hear where people are, these headphones are top tier. I have two pairs of these headphones in my drawer right there. I use them for listening to music. I use them when I'm editing videos because the sound is so perfect. Uh, I highly recommend the Audio-Technica ATH M50X Professional Studio headphones. Next up on the list, whether you're streaming or recording videos for your new YouTube channel, you need lighting and that's where this comes in the Elgato key light air uh, comes in at $130 right now on sale for $100 this key light is amazing it ties into your stream deck you can turn it on and off and adjust the brightness and all that with your stream deck and if not you can use standalone apps but this light for $100 is a per almost perfect key light uh, this will help you get perfect lighting in your videos. Uh, as we all know, lighting is super important. I'm using one right here. Uh, that's what I use to light my videos. And I have a small ring light over here as a filler light. Um, but this thing will light your videos and give you more of that professional, you know, studio level lighting look that most people have on YouTube or Twitch. And last on the list of gifts that I think people would love would be the new Stream Deck Plus put out by Elgato. This thing comes in at $200. It's basically a Stream Deck, just beefier, nicer, with 
with a little bit more features with a touch screen and some control knobs on there. Uh, has all the same features as the previous Stream Decks with a little bit more. You can use it almost as a mixer for your audio. You can adjust your key light, your Elgato key light air right there with the knobs. You can change the colors and all of that. Plenty of great features with this device for any gamer or streamer or content creator in general. Uh, really, I should have named this video 10 best gift ideas for content creators and gamers because you don't have to be a streamer to use these gifts. They're very useful to anybody, even people just recording videos and starting a YouTube channel. But anyways, guys, those are the 10 best gift ideas I have for content creators, gamers, streamers, YouTubers. Pretty much anyone who is doing any sort of content creation or gaming will benefit from any of these devices that I listed off for you here today. I've used all of them and they are all part of my daily setup and I couldn't be happier. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm gonna post links to all these devices down in the description below this video. If you guys wanna use my affiliate links, I get a portion of that and it helps me out a lot. I hope you liked this video, I really do. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss next time I post a video. And if you wanna hang out with me live, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash hammerdance. Head on over there and give me a follow. But anyways, guys, that's all from me. I want you to keep those hammers up. And I'll see you next time.